Yes, my peoples, it's T, and let's talk about The Apprentice 2023, episode one. Let's get it. So I'm gonna get straight into it and talk about my thoughts and my opinions on episode one. Um, and obviously this week, as I mentioned in my preview video yesterday, this week, um, the task was for the teams to go to Antigua in the Caribbean, and essentially create um, some sort of excursion and sell that to Taurus. Um, so as usual in the first episode, it's always boys versus girls, but the show opened with um, Sir Alan Sugar going through everyone's CVs and everybody, well, most people had lots of really cringy things on their CVs, um, which is, <laughs> which is um, kind of interesting. The one that kind of, um, comes back to my mind since watching the show just now is um joe joseph or joe um he said james he's the james bond of business what does that even mean <laughs> and as alan sugar said um he'll probably live to regret that that comment um on his cv so yeah guys be careful what you put on your cv um and what did i say what did i say joe the safari guy the safari guy would end up being the PM for this challenge. As somebody who's who actually runs um, safari tours anyway, um, as he's driving South Africa or wherever he's based, um, um, I, called it, I called it in my preview video yesterday that he would be good at this task. Um, and clearly he was quite good in this task. Um, and it was, it was a good decision and very strong project management from Joe actually to start um at 150 um as opposed to the other guy I forgot his name now but um the guy from Yorkshire he was trying to push for 300 and he was being he was like he was he was actually saying to the PM like I think you're making a really bad business decision mate I really think you should go for 300 pound per per tour no one's paying 300 pound for any for any tour it's ridiculous unless the tour includes some crazy amounts of stuff um so I'm, I'm i'm glad it's the first sign so far it's a good sign from him i think i think he will go far if he if he strays if he stays strong minded like that he just he stuck with his guts he was like 150 that's the price i'm sticking with that um the girls went for something quite similar so they went for 130 or 135 um so there was quite you know in sync despite not obviously having a briefing beforehand about what the price point should be um, so that was good. Um, from the get go, straight away, I could see that the the boys were a better unit than the girls. I don't know why, but girls just love to bicker and moan and bitch um, all the time. <laughs> every 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 series, every season, um, they just can't get along. And in this first, like the girls don't start performing usually until the the groups become mixed, and it's a mixed group. Um, but the girls, yeah, the girls. Unless it's unless it's a task that's kind of more catered towards you know a woman's touch, um, but essentially the girls um, kind of shot themselves in the foot. Essentially, um, first of all, they chose the wrong location to try to sell the tour, the tickets. Literally, they chose the beach. Now, in like in your mind, that sounds good because you're thinking the beach. Yeah, I'm trying to sell tours in you know a beach a beachy touristy location, but. Nobody and one person, one girl actually said this. Nobody wants to be hounded at the beach when they're relaxing in the sun, sunbathing, to buy stuff. Like most people don't even don't even have their cards with them at the beach, just left in the hotel room or something. So the boys, the girls made a very very poor choice there. Um, and the boys, all of them were doing well with sales. All of them were doing very well with sales. There was being charismatic. There was building a rapport with, you know, the, the customer and getting a, getting some good sales in. So I could, I could tell from the start of the episode quite early that what was going to happen towards the end. Um, and Simba, Simba, very cool character. Um, I can tell he's got the Birmingham vibes in him, the Midlands mindset where, you know, he, he's able to be adaptable in every different situations. Um, however, he I did think he jumped in way too, way too quickly, way too soon with 17% commission. Um, initially they went in at 25% and I could tell the lady was, was on the R and I, I, I could see, I could see straight away, I could read her that she would have probably went for 20, maybe even 22%. Um, but he has jumped in, at, she's a 15, literally that's, that's standard in, in bartering, that's standard. 
say 25, say 15, you try and meet in the middle. 17 is not meeting in the middle. You would, that's, that's poor. So he jumped in too quickly there. With that, so, so yeah, that's the one, that's the only criticism I would say of him. But he's a very cool character. Even when the boys were about to start bickering about, you know, a sale that went wrong, he just stepped in and was like, you know what? It's done. Let's move on. I like that. And it just went on and kept, kept selling. Um, in terms of the actual shows themselves, um, this is where the girls actually done well, I think. The girls actually made the shows look more... I'm not sure it was, was just the editing, but the girls... The shows, you know, the tours actually looked a little more exciting and entertaining. Um, there was, you know, um, the people that were actually on the tour seemed quite happy and was laughing and joking. I'm not sure if it was just editing, but the boys' um, tours looked a little bit boring. People were just there with straight face, just just, just looking at what was, what's happening. It's like, okay. Um, but... They didn't get any 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 refunds, so I guess people were were partially happy. Um, and the comment, <laughs> the comment from Alan Sugar about Greg or Gregory is spot on. This guy has the personality of Siri. Now I can't tell. I cannot tell. I think I said this yesterday in my preview, just from his face. I can't. He looks. His face looks young, but his personality seems old. Uh, he's into antiques and, he, and I'm not saying you don't have to you don't have to be old to be into antiques but he just comes across as a very you know um, like an older an older level-headed mature person but he looks like he's actually quite young um, and to be fair he's also a councilman so he's he's a, a politician as well um, so maybe he's just good at it's faking it <laughs> either way um, I can tell that he's a very very intelligent person um, so I feel like he will go far if he if he if he stays on on track um but yeah from the start it was very obvious very very obvious that the boys were going to win um just for the fact that they was more decisive um and they sold more straight away um and in terms of the girls pff, yeah I, to be fair i couldn't even it's too early in the show right now i don't even know everybody's names but i couldn't even tell you who the worst girl was um to be fair i feel like there was all very poor nobody in that team actually st stood out as um a good performer in that team like not even one person like for for example um there's a task on the boys where they were talking about the cannons and stuff um and i think it was joe actually or somebody on that team was just flapping about flapping about um didn't know the facts didn't know what was going on um but at least joe stepped in and came in and, and smashed it um but the girls, I feel like there was, um, yeah, an all-round poor performance from everybody. So to be fair, anybody could have went. The person who went in the end, Emma, she could have stayed, to be fair, because um, there was all poor. I don't think she was even the worst. It's just because her attitude was really, really bad. But yes, that is episode one. Episode one, episode one. So um, looking forward to episode two, whenever that comes around, same time next week. Um, so catch me same time next week for... Hopefully, um, another quick little review and insight into my thoughts of episode two. But thank you for watching and make sure you hit up all my, show, all my socials you see at the bottom below. And um, like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. Let's get it.